Yeah. Okay, y'all. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Robert, aka Rob Smooth, coming from you live from Mr. Barber's house. Chilling with my aunt Sheila, Mr. Barber, and Miss Eva. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm uh, 18 years old, currently still in high school. I attend Abram Freeman, downtown LA, next to the Staples Center, where uh, the Lakers play. So, you know, hear a lot about the Lakers and see everybody wearing the jerseys and everything. So, uh, two classes that I have at Abram Freeman. I have my U.S. government class with um, my friend, Mr. Alexander. And the reason I call him my friend is because, uh, you know, he treats me differently. He, uh, we have a lot of, you know, chemistry. He's from Michigan as well. He's from the South, and uh, you know, we used to talk about a lot of talk a lot about the old days. And, you know, him as a boy, you know, he's real old fashioned. So he's almost like a father figure. So uh, he looks out for me there. And uh, I have my English class uh, with my teacher, Mr. Sider. He's actually like 25, so he's like a he's like a college student. So we treat him. Treated like he's our older brother, so we all get along pretty good. And uh, every day after school, I come to Mr. Barber's house and help uh, my Sheila around the house if she needs something done. I, I, you know, I take care of business. So, uh, and uh, so. So, yeah. how did the girls in England? Yeah. All your, your workshops. Hey, to everybody. Uh, all my workshop families, and, you know, friends, and. Uh, Everybody back home in Michigan, hey, what's up? I'm doing all right, and uh, I should be back pretty soon after I graduate. And uh, just looking forward. Y'all got to come see me sometime. It's, it's, you know, beautiful out here in California. Uh, got to go to Cali you know, California's home of the Lakers and, you know, the beaches and the ladies. And, you know, got to come out here and see everything. And uh, it's, it's a lot of sightseeing to do. Got to go, you know, uh, Disneyland and... Uh, Got what? What other what parts are there? Magic Mountain? Yeah. It's time Universal to do. Studios. Universal Studios, City Walk, you know. Yeah, City Walk is fine. Yes, you know. Okay, now you're going to interview Mr. Barbie. Yeah, uh, Mr. Barbie. Not to interview you all over again, but uh, I hope you don't mind me asking you a couple questions. You say whatever you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, when you uh, grew up in Texas? What was it like? What did you do? I heard you uh, farmed a lot. Yeah. Well, that's my occupation. That was your occupation. You uh, farm. Um, okay. Uh, what kind of animals were on your farm? Horse and a mule. Horse and a mule. I'm not able to buy a tractor. Okay. So, uh, most people use him. Yeah, it took probably more time, but yeah, was, that's how they did it back in the day. Um, so, how many uh, brothers and sisters did you have? I had one brother. He, he's here and he's in there someplace. Oh, he's in there someplace? He's here. Oh, what's his name? Robert. Oh, Robert. Is he here, Robert? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's your son. Oh, that's his son. Okay. What about your sisters? You had some sisters as well. Well, I have three. Three sisters. You, do you uh, remember their names? No. I don't yes, you do. Your sister Ovella. Sister. What? Your sister Ovella. Oh, oh yeah, your sisters. Yeah. That you grew up with in Texas. Ovella and Daisy and Lily, ain't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you had a couple couple kids around the house. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So uh, what made you move to California from Texas? Oh, just moving around, that's all. Just moving around? But you never went back. What, what made you not go back? Why didn't you go back? You love California. The weather? Was it the weather? Yeah. The weather and <laughs> you just like it here. You just want to get out of Texas. Okay, that's good. So Mr. Barber, tell them how the folks treat you down in Texas. Oh, I don't know. What you tell me about the folks, the people were kinda mean? It was it a lot of racism back then? Well uh -huh. Most of the white people down there mm -hmm. are 
mean Them. to black people. That's not good at all. That's, that's number double. So you came here, the folks wasn't so mean, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Got yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, Mr. Bob, tell him where you used to work. Who did you work for? Car company. What car company did you work for? Was it Chrysler? Oh yeah. Oh, you work for Chrysler? Yeah. How many years did you work for Chrysler? I had no. Oh, do you know what you did there at Chrysler? Did you uh, make car parts? Yeah. Okay. You put them cars together, huh? Did you uh, work on the uh, at the assembly line? Or, uh, yeah. Okay. Sanding up. You did good work. And what happened? How they got rid of you, Mr. Brown? Well, you know they closed this plant here. And move back east. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. They ship them back east. And then what they do to you? All the old guys like me. Terminated. Terminated. Uh, yeah. Terminated. And he, he was mad too. I would have been too. That's that's your job. That's your that's But Mr. Bob, after they terminated your job at Chrysler. Um, mm -hmm. I heard you got other jobs. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they told me you was picking cotton. Oh yeah. 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 You never picked no cotton. Yeah, yes, sir. I picked cotton. Too. I've never picked cotton before. You have? No, I haven't. Oh. Hot or cotton? Cotton. Did oh, you, cotton. Eva, did you pick cotton? What is cotton? It's cotton, like... The l little white fluff? The little white stuff that they make clothes out of. No. You no. never pick cotton? No. Girl, you from Africa and you never pick cotton? No. Wow. Mr. Baba, she didn't have cotton in Africa. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What y'all got in Africa? I've never been to Africa. Diamonds. <laughs> oh yeah, diamonds. Yeah. And gold. Yes. <laughs> Gemstones. Gemstones. What about rubies? And rubies, oh, okay. yeah. My country. Okay. Ruby come from Tanzania. I need to go to Tanzania. <laughs> I need to go go and get me a ruby man. <laughs> Buy me a lamb with some rubies mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. I you didn't do that kind of work, huh? No, I didn't do it. Your brothers? My son wants to do it. And he loved to do it. Even now he's in South Africa with to, to do mining. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All them diamonds. They they found That's the dangerous. biggest the biggest diamond. Almost the biggest diamond they ever seen the other day. I forgot how many carrots over nearly five hundred carrots. I mean, it was this big. Yeah. How much is it worth? Um, uh, so many, like twelve million or so. I would love it. I would love it. You know what? God is blessed in Africa. Oh yeah. And that's why these people, when they they come there, white folks, they don't like to show us, and they didn't teach us even to go in school, mm -hmm. because like uh, in my where my I was telling you about my mother's side. Mm hmm. There was a man called Williamson. When he came there by 1954, he found people that was, you know, the old men, all the men that during evening, you know, they are smoking and they are, you know, they are snuffing tobacco. 